How would a creator balance ambition with, while also not overjudging themselves? I think it's just having a real conversation with yourself, you know, just really just going there. You know, like even the, you know, even the way you ask that question, obviously you've been listening enough of like either my themes or other themes or you got there yourself. Like the reality is, is that, you know, ambition and patience seem to be opposites, but when blended together really lead to a, a higher level of happiness. And so um, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't uh, push harder for people to figure out how to get there. I think a lot of times when, you know, people, think they might be complacent or not pushing hard enough when they just need a rest, you know, and that's okay too. And so I actually, you know, I find it, I find it easier now if they're, you know, I think it came natural to me after years of practice, but I think the fact that that's even on your radar is already a winning formula. Gotcha. You yeah, know, the fact, that, the fact that you're even debating that um, already puts you in a good spot. Yeah, I mean, I enjoy the process, so I, I love the hustle. I love working from the time I wake up to till the time I go to bed. I enjoy it. Um, yeah, just trying to figure out that balance mentally, not even so much in what I'm doing, but more just, you know, up here in the head. Um, I get it. But yeah, and then um, any advice for starting a business with a family member? Because I know you've done stuff with AJ and, and your yeah, dad. Yeah, I mean, and on that one, you just got to make sure that you value the person more than the money and the clout or respect you know it's a really challenging game family businesses uh but the reality is is if you could just love somebody more than you love the money or the clout or the credit then you'll be in a good spot for me it was more credit it was more like hey dad hey aj i'm a better businessman than you and and that creates friction for for them i think they they value the dollars a little bit more i don't judge that i just think they do more than me uh, so that worked out a little bit in the fact that that's how that broke down with us. But I think you've got to figure out if the person that you're going into business with has the same ambitions as you do. Is it is it money? Is it is it you know the credit of who did it? You know, I think communication is just everything in life, and definitely in in family businesses. Well, have you considered the fact that you may not want to be doing those things? A little bit, but uh, yeah, to, to get through college, you have to complete certain things. I understand, but I don't think you're going to get better at it. I don't think you like it. Yeah. Everybody yeah. procrastinates shit they don't like, and everybody does things yeah. that they love. True. I've got a million things I'm supposed to be doing. I'm procrastinating them because I don't like them but I'm up to two o'clock in the morning last night looking up sports cards on eBay because I like it. But then, I mean, how would you find something that, you know, energizes you? Because right now I'm, I'm, I'm just 19. So I know I have a long way ahead, but. Which is amazing. Uh, I, I, you know, for me, I tend to like to ask people to really slow everything down and try to figure out what, like really audit the last 19 years of your life and try to figure out what, um, what you like. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, I had another question for you. Like, uh, I'm, I have oh, this interest oh, oh, in oh, real digital quick. media. Oh. Okay, go yeah. ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, I have this interest in, you know, digital media and that's why I'm doing a media course right now in college. Uh, so I want to know how can you find a skill or a job that, you know, you can enhance throughout your college life so that when you are out there in the job field, you are able to learn more rather than going from, you know, the bottom of uh, the pyramid, learning that skill from the bottom. Skills are a commodity and actually not so valuable. I think what you should okay. focus on is interacting with people. All right. I, th I think if you're spending time in college, what I would challenge yourself to do is to meet as many people as possible and really get much better on your people skills and empathy and compassion and listening and friendships because the skills are, college is not gonna teach you the skills of real life. Yeah, true. I know it's true. Like, listen, many have to go through college and get a degree to go into the field that they like, but you don't learn about yeah. You know, you know, no matter how much somebody trains for war, once the war starts, it's different. No matter how many videos you watch on YouTube about playing basketball, when you get on the court and somebody elbows you in the chest, you're not playing basketball. Like, yeah. like 
Yeah. You understand, like school is not built for what you're asking for. What what you could do though on yes. the flip side is use this time to really start to learn people, you know? Because, you know, teaching, teaching can be done in a lot of different ways, you know, and, and consuming information and gathering information is is great. But the reality is you can do that outside of the school system, outside of university, you know, yeah. you know life is so much about actually doing. Of course you can learn certain skills, Do doctors, lawyers, the law, like you have to memorize those things, you have to learn those yeah, things. But like, but, like, yeah. but like doing, if you're talking about business and Practice digital marketing. Practice makes it better. Yeah, I mean, reading about running Instagram ads is different than running them, right? You know, yeah. reading, you know, thinking about how to make a podcast versus actually making a podcast. Like, you know, you know, I just, you Getting know, into I, that activity I, I get, I get, and learning more through the process. I get, worried, I get worried that people think like, I hate college or this and that. I hate debt. You know, I hate that people think it's a ticket to a skill or happiness, yeah. you know, there's a lot of great things about college. People mature, it's a time, you know, it's an age group, you know, 18 to 22, 17 to 23. Mm -hmm. You're a very different person. But like yeah. this, this thought that you're gonna take a course on project management or on, you know, advertising. I mean, you know this, what they're teaching in college for advertising is antiquated. Yeah. You have to do. There's one thing that you said about being online in 2020, that if you're not, if you're a business that's not online, then you're basically dead in the water. And I just thought, I've got to help my mum. I've really got to, you know, push her on that side because that's not her strength. And to be honest, it's not massively mine either, but I can learn and I can help her, especially now I've got, well, a bit of time. <laughs> I've got, actually got two children under two. But, um, so my question is, we want to expand the company. We have about 24 um, properties at the moment. We want to get more properties. But how can we do that when everyone is after the same the same thing and we don't really know where they are? You know, there's hundreds here, but we don't know who they are and where, they, you know, who they belong to. When you say there's hundreds here, sorry, little guy, like Lucas, uh, when you say when they're after the same thing, I just want to make sure I fully understood you. I mean, when every other property management company is after the same client. They all want, you know. You gotta be better. Yeah, but how? How do we promote ourselves? Because because the way I was thinking is Facebook ads, but that, that is one. we need to employ people to do that for us because I, I've had a go before lockdown um, and it amounted to nothing. But I mean, I know I haven't put any effort into it really. I well, good news. Anything you don't put any effort into always amounts to nothing. Well, yeah, I know. I mean, it's a lot to learn, isn't it? With it is. That's why it's good and that's why it works. You know yeah. what else takes a lot of effort? Push-ups. And if you do it every day, you'll get muscles. Yeah, well, I mean, what I was thinking with the Facebook ads is because it's not particularly my forte either, maybe it's better to pay somebody else to do that for us. The only problem is if you don't if you don't know if you don't know how to judge it, then you might waste money that way too. And I kinda like the idea of you learning you're so young, you learning that what? skill is something that I'm not that young. <laughs> Kelly, you're that young. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a little bit younger than you. I'm forty. Kelly, you're young as shit. <laughs> I mean, you're not you're not fucking Lucas Young, but forty like you're gonna minimally live another forty years. Like you're young, and learning this skill right now is is very important.